Hey, this is the Mad Scientist Guy. In this video is part two of a series where I'm going to create an LED light that is a headlight so that I can use it to see outside at night uh, when I'm using my telescope. So the first thing I need to do is I need to take this salvaged LED board and solder on a couple of lead wires so that I can both debug it a little bit quicker and also get ready to solder it onto my final light. So I'm just going to put a, a short red lead and a black lead so that I know which side is the positive side. In the previous video I used this uh, prototype here to limit the current for a high powered LED and this is uh, one used you know for lighting not not an indicator. And so what I've done is I've put that aside and then I've duplicated it but here I have a potentiometer because you remember on the last video when you have these two transistors here like this this second transistor with this resistor is how you control the overall circuit going with this resistor going into the base of the second transistor this can control the current or limit it of the current going into the first transistor. So I just set that aside and then what I've done here is I've got a potentiometer and now what I can do is that I can dial in the brightness by varying the current going into this transistor and then I can have a, a, an LED that functions the way I want to. So all we have to do is we add a switch and then you set the brightness and then you can just leave it. Or if you want to adjust it, you know, like at the beginning of the night when I'm going to use this to, to light my telescope, your eyes are not quite adjusted so you want to turn up a little brighter. But as your eyes become adjusted to the dark, you want to turn it down. So now we can do that. So I have soldered on a couple of leads onto my salvaged LED board here. And now what we can do, we'll go from the power, the positive, and then I can take this test jumper out. And now the negative going into the first transistor. Okay. This. And then we can take this jumper off. Now here's our battery. This is 3.2 volts. Okay. So now what we can do, and when you Got a little bit of a loose connection. It's not quite going into the board there, but this will be fixed when we solder it. So now if you turn it down low enough, it actually stays on if you have a good connection. So we need to add a switch. And then as we turn this to the right, we can gradually increase the brightness of our LED. So what I want to do is I want to take this back into my pantry and test it in complete darkness to see if this is about what I want before I solder it up and actually make my headlamp. Before I head into the pantry, I want to talk about this potentiometer a little bit more. So as you recall in the last video, if we just adjust the uh, resistance going into the base, we uh, we're trying to do is we have a 0 0.7 volt uh, across the base that we're evaluating and we went from an 11 ohm which produces about 60 milliamps to a 70 ohm which produced um, about 10 milliamps 0 0.01 here so basically if we go from as we increase the resistance we reduce the current flow so let's take the battery off real quick and then get out our potentiometer 
And there are two ways that you can hook up one of these potentiometers. So you have a common lead here with, it's got three prongs on it, there's the common. And you've got one on this side and one on the other side. And so what you need to do is you need to pick the correct uh, pole on where it has two. I'm gonna turn it all the way to the left. We'll measure. That's 6.8 kilo ohms. Okay, so that's a lot of resistance, which means very, very little current. And as we turn it to the right, now we're down to 5.7 kilo ohms. And if we take it all the way down, then I'll have to change the scale on the ohm meter. 0 0.02, so let's bring this down. It's going to be 15 ohms. Okay, so that actually works out pretty well because that means that, you know, back to our calculations, we're going to come down to approximately where it was at 60 milliamps. And so that works out great. So we turn it to the right. The resistance decreases and the current increases. We turn it to the left. The resistance increases and the current decreases. So that works perfectly. So that's how you can choose which side of your potentiometer to wire it onto. Okay, I'm back in my pantry uh, because it's completely dark when I close it. So let's simulate a night condition when I'm outside looking at my telescope. Now we'll put this away from us. We don't want to blast out the uh, camera. So if we turn it all the way down, um, can't really make out the text or anything like that. We can gradually bring this up. And we can fine tune just how bright we want this. And you know, that's way too bright. That's about 60 milliamps. I never want to do that, but we can bring it down to something that's reasonable. You're getting a bad connection on the potentiometer here. And then you just leave it there how you want it, and then you can just use the on-off switch that I haven't installed yet. So I think that'll work out really well. So I'm getting a lot closer to finishing this project and next time I think what I'll do is design and print out the 3D part that's going to hold all this circuitry and see if we can get this project finished up. So I'll see you next time.